I love my husband. I love him even though his snoring wakes me up every morning. So I'll Wake scare up. him away. <laughs> it's my daily revenge. Uh, uh, say you're sorry. Say you're sorry. I don't hear you. Food Network says you should only put one item in your eggs. But Louis likes everything in them, because it's how his mom made them. He calls it eggs with everything. <laughs> I call it gross. But that's how he loves them. And I do all the laundry because my mom told me that a man with dirty clothes is a man that's not loved by his wife. Yeah, I know it's old-fashioned, but now his whites are always white and all his co-workers will know he's loved. He always promises to do it next time, but I'll never let him. And I know he loves me because every time I head off to work, I feel him watching me leave. Hey, Syl. One of my favorite things is my commute to work. It's my time to myself and it lets me clear my head before the stress of the day. I'm going blind. A rare disease I can barely pronounce is taking away my vision. And I will probably lose my whole career over it. I won't be able to scare Louis anymore. Wake up! What am I supposed to tell him? I can't make his silly eggs with everything. Can you just lay off? All right. I'm sorry about what I did today. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm sorry. The people he works with are going to think I stopped caring about him. Just talk to me, okay? I don't want to talk about it right now. Just like, come on, come here. Come here. Louis. Something is going wrong. Something is wrong. No, You're not I'm talking fine. to me. Please tell me what's going on. And now, when all I want to do is breathe and walk to work alone? I can't, because Louis won't let me.
How do you tell the person you love that you're going blind? I can't help but think that I'm becoming his patient, not his partner. Maybe he'd be happier with someone else. Someone who won't be a burden. My wife is going blind and she doesn't want my help. I want to wake up every morning and tell her that I love her. That's all going to be okay. But she doesn't want to hear any of it. I wish I could do all the cooking, but she insists on doing it on her own. She's even figured out the laundry. She still insists on going to work. I'm taking the bus alone. My heart stops every time I think about her crossing the streets of downtown. So even though she doesn't want me to, I follow her every day without her knowing. Because that's what true love is, right? There's more than just a feeling. It's an action. Cecilia will never know how much I do for her, and I don't ever need her to know. That's how I still love her, even though she doesn't want me to.